What it up, y'all? This is Denzel P. Ren signing on with you guys and girls. I know, I know, it's been a while, it's been a minute, but I have been busy. I take a break of YouTube for a couple of weeks and days because getting my life situated and all that other stuff, everything. But anywho, besides that, I heard it's the San Diego Comic Con. You know, that means more Marvel events and other upcoming projects is coming in the future. But the most upcoming future project that I am anticipating for and how are they gonna do it is, of course, rest in peace, King. So we have another trailer of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I'm really excited to see what they're going to feature in this trailer, um, what to expect, and I want to know how are they going to handle T'Challa, aka Black Panther, rest in peace King, Chadwick Boseman, in this movie. Um, I'm just ready. Let's talk it and more reactions. And if this is your first time in my channel, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. I do movie re reviews, reactions, trying to laugh challenges, you name it. Welcome to the channel. Let's talk it and more reactions. Y'all ready? Cool. <sighs> Action! All right, and here we go. I'm getting emotional already. Wow. I'm trying not to cry. Cinematography look amazing. Like a music video too. Ooh, that's Namor. Looks great. The colonizers are infiltrating. The throne's on fire. What? said that her family is missing and they're flooding the Wakandan throne wow this looks amazing <gasps> Oh, wow, <laughs> that may have been the most emotional trailer I've ever watched. I was trying to hold back my tears. Um, <laughs> really cool, really cool, great trailer. I gotta watch it again over and over. I, I do some speculation stuff like that, but overall, really great trailer. Seeing Namor um, in the trailer, he looks amazing and great. Um, I heard Namor just playing Marvel the Ultimate Lions game. Hold on, I'm fighting my tears back a little bit because <laughs> of the feeling of the trailer. But anywho, knowing Namor, um, I, I was playing Marvel Ultimate Lions game and thank God because that game introduced me to a whole list of uh, Marvel characters. That's how I know majority of these characters in the movie as well too. So like that. So I heard that Namor is a anti-hero and I heard that he's mostly a jerk and I heard in the comic books that he flooded Wakanda in the comic books as well too. So I get, guess we go see an interpretation of that in the film. Um, and I'm wondering how are they going to handle T'Challa in this um, film because ever since Shadrach Bozeman has passed the way Ryan Kluger based the script and film, of course, focusing on the heart of T'Challa, but since that happened, he has to rewrite the script, and now we're going to be focusing that Shiri is going to be the heart, because in the comic books, if y'all know not, um, Shiri takes over for T'Challa when he's away or some happens to him, stuff like that. So I'm guessing how are they going to do in this film, what they're going to do in this film is that Namor... Um, is going to take over Wakanda, of course, because if you remember in Avengers Endgame, um, when all they were having a group meeting at the beginning of the film as a hologram, um, 
Okoye was saying that there was a problem under the seas of Wakanda, so I guess the problem is going to be seen here, featured in this film. Um, Namor looks like he's about to wreak some havoc, and like I said, take over the throne and stuff like that. Um, looks like it's going to be going through a whole lot. And I love the cinematography and how it's shot. It looks like a music video in a way. It's like a very clean, rich colored palette and everything. And in the, the soundtrack, everything's going to be all right. Woman Don't Cry. I love that song and everything. I made me not want to cry, you know, stuff like that, you know. But, um, but they're going to, I believe they're going to do a nice, beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman's, um, you know, celebrating the life of Chadwick Boseman in this film and stuff like that because if you see in the beginning of the trailer they're wearing white I'm guessing that might be his funeral and stuff like that and another thing before I close this out, video out um, I think that they're gonna do the T'Challa is missing and I think I don't know just guessing that Namor might kill him or something happen to him or maybe something in the blip maybe some news is going to be affecting his body of T'Challa I don't know how they're going to do it, but then we see at the end that Black Panther, the gold suit and everything, which I am pretty much sure that's going to be Shiri taking up the mantle maybe at the end of the film and stuff like that. Because in the, in the comic books, I think it's, it's the gold suit, you know, claws, gold palette and everything that she wears, stuff like that. She takes over, basically, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, November, which we got a long wait, stuff like that, until another trailer comes out. Um, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this film. This film, is, I believe, is going to be very packed and very overcrowded. Going to make a lot of money because of what the legacy of Chadwick Boseman has left on the imprint of it. And um, and if somehow, somebody says the multiverse is happening, I wonder how if they might recast Black Panther or going to continue on a further on a journey of the legacy of Black Panther. Who knows what Kevin Feige got up his sleeve, but I am excited because we got more Marvel news in the near future that I gotta watch and see, stuff like that. And yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your guys and girls thoughts about the new Black Panther? Wakanda forever! Teaser trailer. Comment below and let me know. Also, if you had enjoyed my reactions, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. More videos we post it each and every other week. So with more news ahead, with that being said, this is Denzel B. Renz. So I'm out. With a bang. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! <laughs>